Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty and I'm back with another video. As you guys can see from today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about consultations. Everybody should know what a consultation is, but within my video, I'm going to let you guys know how a consultation should be run, what you should have, and what should not happen during a consultation. First, I want to say a consultation for me is only booked when a client sends in their consultation fee. I charge a consultation fee that is not included within the garment price and my consultation fee is $50. Some of you guys may have $25, $40, $50, $100 dollar consultation fee and it holds the client's uh, consultation date. It may be you know, April 25th at 11 o'clock and that holds the date and then once you pay, once the client pays me via Cash App, PayPal, or whatever it is, then I'll go ahead and mark them down for that date. What I also have a part of my layout on my contract is a late fee. So normally I know I'm in the Bronx, I'm in New York City, and a lot of people um, always complain about there's no parking and you know, and things just happen, life is life. So normally I tell clients, if you're gonna be five minutes late, that's fine. If you're gonna be 10 minutes late, that's not fine, but it's okay, you know, it's not the end of the world. But if my client is more than 25 minutes late, that's also in my layout and within my contract, I will be charging my client an additional $25, which goes towards her garment price. Because unfortunately how I book my clients, I only book them on Sundays and I have consultations from seven in the morning and my last consultation is at 12. So if you are late for your appointment, I still have another client right after you. So if you're late, that means I'm gonna have to push my client back and push that client back and push that client back. So it's always best to be on time. It's always best for your clients to be an additional five minutes early, 10 minutes early. So please have that a part of your layout and please have that also in the contract. A consultation fee and again, a late fee. If you guys are also interested, you can also tell your clients, hey, I know your prom is two weeks from now and you just came to me this week. If you want your dress you know, done correctly, if you want your dress to be moved up on the ladder of where uh, your other garments are, you can also charge a rush fee. The rush fee is also based off of your decision. A rush fee can be $50, it can be $150, or a rush fee can be $300 flat rate, which means if you give me an additional $300 plus what you owe me for your dress, I can go out today, buy your fabric, and start it today, and it'll be finished by the end of the week. So that's a rush fee. So if you guys are interested in that as well, make sure you guys have that in your layout, and again, make sure you have it in your contract. Next, we are going to talk about how many people should your client bring to the consultation. Now, this is something serious. I know a lot of you guys have issues with that. They bring the mother, the father, the sister, the brother, the boyfriend, um, the grandmother, the grandfather. And that's cute, but it's not cute when you have a small consultation space. So, unfortunately, I tell my clients way ahead of time in the layout, listen, space is limited to people two people max so you have the client which is fine and I'm okay with you bringing your mother and your father or I'm okay with you bringing your mother and your grandmother or I'm okay with you bringing your mother and your date or if you want to just come by yourself that's also fine some high school students are more mature more responsible than others and that's okay but I just need to know that beforehand and normally when a client is coming by herself I Speak to the mom or the father and I make sure that I need to hear their voice I need to know that the parents know where they're going I need to know with that the parents know who I am how I work and if they also read my layout that's very important I don't want no miscommunication between me the client and the parents because you know there's too many people involved when it comes to getting something custom made because sometimes the client doesn't always respond well with the parents and something goes missing within the communication and it's always good just to speak to everybody who's getting something made from you. Next, we want to talk about your space. When, well for me, my clients come to my location which is my home. A lot of you guys may have workshops um, or you may, have, you may work from your home but in a different area like in a garage or something like that. But unfortunately, my living room is my show as you guys been seeing on my channel and 
I always make sure that my area is uh, clean and my living room is clean. So my couch is clean, my floors are clean. I make sure there's maybe a garment on the mannequin so they can see, okay, they walk into my house and they see, wow, clean apartment, clean space. Um, they know I'm not a catfish, I'm a real person. Um, and they see my work up here and on the side of the couch, I have my garment bags with my photo and all of the contracts. So they know that this is not a scam. I'm a real person. It's time to go to work. Once your client comes in, your client should sit right next to you or across from you and the parents or parents should sit on the other side. So you and the client can go hand in hand and have a conversation and that you can show her your phone or show her samples and stuff like that. Again, I'm going to show you guys what you should have out already. You guys should have a table or some form of something so that your client can ride on and that you can ride on. So right now for your consultation, you guys will need a receipt book. It's something very simple that you guys should have. You can find it in any 99 cent store, any Staples, Dollar Tree. You guys need a receipt book. And um, one thing that I also like to do, I allow my clients to sign the receipt. So like I was saying before, so it says from Classic Royalty. So I'll write Classic Royalty. It says by Anita Rivers, which is me, and it says two. So two will be the actual client. So no one can say they didn't get a receipt because I have the original and they will get the copy. So that's something else that you guys may want to do is have your client sign the receipt. Doesn't matter where, as long as she signs the receipt, you have the original and she has the copy. You know, make sure you save your ass on that because I didn't get a receipt and my mom didn't get a receipt. Yes, because on January 8th, 2017, I got a receipt and you signed it here. Boom. Next, you guys will also need to have a contract. If you guys haven't watched my contract video, make sure you guys go ahead and watch that. It is very simple. I go over it very thoroughly about what's on the front and again what's on the back of my contract so go ahead and go to my video and watch how to create a contract video and again i have my contracts on these boards because your client always needs something to write on it's just very fancy it's cute you guys will also need a fashion template so as you guys can see up here mine has client name and it has the date and on the bottom it says designer signature and it says client signature. Just so that whatever I draw, the client seen it, the client approved of it. So when a month later, two months later, I didn't see that or you added that later. No, because on this date and this time, I signed and you signed and this is what you came up with. And again, you should also have this a part of the board so they can have something. What is this for you? So you can um, actually draw something on this. And if you guys want to get really fancy, you guys can get maybe like color pencils, crayons, get that gold paint and just to add little details so you know exactly what you guys are doing. But you guys should also have this as well. After you're done, done? Sorry. After you're done, you guys will also need to have, you guys will also need to have sheet protectors. So I will normally put my contract in the sheet protector and then once the whole consultation is over, you guys will basically get a folder and place everything in the folder. I know you guys can't see, but you guys will place everything in the folder and put it to the side. So I know a lot of you guys may be wondering how long is the consultation? For me, my consultations are between 45 minutes to an hour, but they always end up being an hour and five minutes or just a plain hour. And I divide that hour into sections. So for a consultation, there will be 30 minutes for design and sketch, show them fabrics, show them samples, show them zippers. Um, they may be confused on a different bottom to a different top. So that takes a long time because you know high school students are very indecisive and they want to see other people and what they're envisioning. So I will say 30 minutes is a good enough time for them to sketch, for you to sketch, for you guys to talk to figure out what she wants for her dress. Next, it will be 15 minutes for the measurements. So I tell my clients before they come here for the consultation, please wear black and please wear form-fitted clothes. So leggings, jeggings, tights, 
um, you know, tight white beaters because I need to see my client's body. I need to see your body. I need everything to be slim and form fitted so I can take proper measurements. And again, the next 15 minutes, that's when we sign the contract. So it all, go, it all goes in order. So first they come in, they show me the photo. The 30 minutes, we go ahead and go over the sketches and what she wants for prom. The next 15 minutes, we uh, take measurements. And then the following 15 minutes, when we go ahead and go over the co entire contract, they fill it out top to bottom, flip over it front to back, sign the initials, and they actually sign the contract with their parents. And also, I do have a mirror, so when I do take measurements with my clients, I also have the client stand in front of the mirror and yes, I tell my clients to bring the same heels height that they're going to wear for their prom because it's always best to have them wear the heels so you can measure from knee to floor with the heels on. And again, after everything is finished, the consultation is done, your client then signed the contract, you started working on a receipt. I signed a contract as well. I signed the receipt as well, like I said before. And then I tear the copy out and I just get a regular white envelope and place it in here. Makes you look more professional, that's what I'm trying to say. So you get an envelope and then I also have my classic royalty business card. Something like this. It's the same as my shirt, if you guys can see. And I place this business card inside of the envelope along with the receipt. And again, if my client has um, a sample of the fabric, whether it's something like this, or let's say for example, she wants this same fabric but in blue, I will still cut her a one by one or a two by two sample, put it inside the envelope, close it up and staple it. And on the front, I would just write thank you and give it to the mother, not the client. I give it to the mother because you know, mothers are just more responsible. So yes, that is basically it though. Um, it's all steps. So I would say that when you guys are doing consultations, I would say before you even about think, before you think about doing consultations, take a minute, take a day, and just get a pen and a paper and write down how you want your consultation to run. Some you get, some of you guys may want to take the measurements first, then sit down and sign a contract, and then you do the design last. Um, it really depends, but there's no wrong way of doing a consultation. You guys might want to do it in a different location, opposed to where I, to, opposed to what I do, which is doing it here in my home. Um, make sure you're dressed. Um, it's very inappropriate and unprofessional to open the door in your pajamas um, or slippers or anything like that. So when I do have a consultation, I make sure I'm just wearing like a shirt, a classic royal t-shirt or a regular white t-shirt or um, you know just regular pants and shoes it just works better this is the first impression that your clients and the parents will be sending because just because they're here for a consultation doesn't mean they're going to pay you the full amount um, the way you speak what you present the parents and your client and how you handle the consultation that makes them give you the money that makes them want to come back and that makes them want you to create their daughter's prom dress or son's blazer or whatever it is it's all about being professional and professionalism and professionalism starts with an email and a layout and once again make sure you got make sure you guys have all the things you need for consultation and make sure you have pins that work because i go through a lot of pins for consultations and just make sure you are very open, make sure you're very honest with your clients, and make sure you tell them, this will look good on you, this won't look good on you, maybe you should do this, or this style has been done plenty of times, how about you try a different sleeve? You know, I love this dress, my client wanted something very simple, even though the dress behind me is very simple, it is very elegant, it looks very expensive, and I cannot wait to see it on her. And this color is going to look amazing on her. She is so high yellow with very curly and big Diana Ross hair. She's beautiful. So she's going to kill this dress. But I also gave her my opinion and her mom loved it. And we just went along with it. Again, this is a short video on how a consultation should be dealt with. How a consultation should be done. If you guys have any questions on consultations, on my t-shirt, on just contracts or layouts or receipts or about anything. 
please leave it below in the comments give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe please share this video and press the notification bell i upload videos very randomly i'm sorry but life is life i just post them when i post them and again i'm your girl anita rivers of classic royalty and thank you guys for watching my consultation video